Y por eso es que me he hecho muy extraño. Bueno, y sé que está acá, sé que está acá. And now the official starting line of the page of Holy Hill, Gary Miller, Jerry Shiglass, beginning with her away in Sigma FC. Where is William and Daniel Antonov? Where is the field? Gary Shiglass. All right, soccer fans, let's get you set for the opening kickoff here as we welcome you into the OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield 2022 live stream broadcast. We're just getting the final opening PA announcements underway here. As we get you set for the boys under 15 final, first of six games on the docket for this weekend here at the Gary Miller Charity Shield 2022. Launched in 2014 with the 2001 age group, the Ontario Player Development League, OPDL, is Ontario's first and Canada's foremost standards-based youth high-performance league that combines top-level competition with comprehensive high-performance training standards. This innovative and exciting youth high-performance program is an important standard bearer for the adoption of LTPD long-term player development principles across soccer at large in Ontario and Canada. OPDL encompasses the U13 to UJ U17 age categories for both male and females, which are delivered by 30 committed license holders from Windsor in the West all the way to Ottawa in the East. Mm -hmm. This program has come to be the pace setter and embodiment of a more refined standards-based high performance development environment, benefiting players, coaches, and match officials across Ontario. This weekend marks the long awaited and hotly contested season finale for the U14, 15, and 17 age groups, as well as the second annual edition of this competition after it was renamed in honor of former Ontario soccer director, of soccer operations, Gary Miller in 2021. As a friend, mentor, and coach to many generations of Ontario soccer participants, Gary was a pioneer for the modernization of soccer in Canada and a staunch advocate for long-term player, coach, and match official development. Nowhere was Gary's influence more critical and impactful than as a member on Ontario Soccer's Technical Advisory Committee, which developed the standards for the Ontario Player Development League launched in 2014. We applaud all finalists of the 2022 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield who have excelled all season long on and off the pitch and succeeded in the face of adversity to earn a berth at this prestigious event. Good luck to all of you. And best wish, wishes for a tremendous weekend of soccer memories to last a lifetime. We're just about set for the opening kickoff here in this match. As we've got Sigma FC taking on Vaughn SC. Sigma wearing the all-white kits. 
little bit of blue trim around the shoulders, white socks, white shorts, blue numbers on the back. Vaughn will be wearing their dark blues, a little bit of red and white trimming. As we're just moments away from the opening kickoff, nice presentation down happening pitch side as we'll have a number of prestigious and honored guests in attendance this weekend, including at some point the Miller family themselves. But a reminder that Toronto FC is the official founding premier partner of Ontario Soccer, as well as the co-presenting partner for the OPDL, the province's youth high performance league. Their commitment to the game in Ontario is unrivaled. Visit torontofc.com for tickets and more. The Canadian Premier League, on behalf of its Ontario-based member clubs, Forge FC, York United FC, and Atletico Ottawa, are now premier partners of Ontario Soccer and co-presenting partners. We'll get back to this after the end. All right, soccer fans, let's get you set for opening kickoff here. It's Vaughn, boys under 15, taking on Sigma in the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Our partners for today's broadcast include Toronto FC, the CPL Canadian Premier League on behalf of its Ontario-based member clubs, Forge FC, York United FC, and Atletico Ottawa are now premier partners of Ontario Soccer and co-presenting partners of the OPDL. For updates and more info, please go to canpl.ca. Gatorade. Don't forget, today's Gary Miller Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel. Just moments away from the opening kickoff. This should be a tremendous game here, as it'll be Vaughn working left to right across your screen, Sigma right to left. And we're just moments away from the opening kick. Starting keepers in this one. For Sigma, it's Daniil Antonov. And for Vaughn, Luca Campoli. Campoli the goalie, you gotta love that. Let's see how this one goes as we get you set for the opening kickoff. Bit of a different format for each age group here at the Gary Miller Charity Shield. So in the U15s, we'll be playing two 40-minute halves with a 10-minute halftime break. All right, we are just moments away from the opening kickoff here. It's the first of six matches this weekend for the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. And we get it going in the boys' U15 division. Vaughn will kick us off as they work left to right across your screen. Campoli defending the goal to our left. Antov the goal to our right for Sigma. Point toss and some pre match pictures being taken with our match officials here. As we get you set for the opening kick, 
We're just moments away from getting the action underway. You're tuned in to the Ontario Soccer live stream broadcast. We're coming to you live on Twitch this weekend, trying something new, and we appreciate you joining us here. Remember to like, subscribe, donate if you so wish. Let us know who you're cheering on, where you're watching from. And we'll try to get to some viewer shout-outs throughout this weekend. But we're just seconds away from the opening kickoff as it's Carter Tavares Roach standing at midfield waiting to kick us off for Vaughn. Vaughn's starting this match with a three-man back line. Sigma countering with four at the back. We'll see how the formations and tactics play out in front of us as our match officials get set to get this game underway. Tavares Roach stands over top of the ball. The ARs head to their respective positions. And we're about to get the action going here at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. It is a great crowd on hand here at the Ontario Soccer Center Indoor Fieldhouse for today's match. And I just spilt my tea everywhere. Whoopsie doodles. Sorry down there. Sorry, folks. Sorry. As we're underway here, not a great start for me, but let's see how the two teams unfold in front of us. There goes my $2 tea. And while well, we got more than $2 of entertainment here in this one, because here goes Tega Brew ahead for Vaughn. He pulls the ball back. Nice footwork in short space there as he quickly gets the return pass from his defender. Tripped up and Tegbaru earns the foul and the free kick for Vaughn. Definitely a little bit rattled, so let's see what Carter Tavares Roach can do now as he gets set for the free kick opportunity with Vaughn putting players in towards the penalty area. Ball played in. This could be threatening. Headed away to the top of the area. There's a shot. Ricochets off a defender. Loose big save there by Antonov. Second opportunity. That's out for a goal kick. So let's see how Sigma respond now, coming out of their own defensive end, as it's played over to their captain, Oliver Clow. Back to the keeper, Antonov, as Sigma try to settle things down after a bit of a hot start there in the opening minute for Vaughn, drawing that free kick. And while well, Antonov called to action early, making a good save in tight proximity, now Sigma work it out with. Obikue, he tries to work his way through the midfield. Nice job to get around the first defender. Obikue takes it on. As here goes Vaughn defending. Obikue picks it up now for Sigma. Draws it out wide into the area. There's a cross right in front. Fanned on in front. Campoli never had to make the save. There's a shot from distance. A good drive that time from Klo. And it just goes wide. From the goal kick, Vaughn play it short, and they'll try work it through the back line as coming up with the touch was Curry. They try work it through the midfield now and controlled with a good touch by Marrera. He turns, looks for a man up the flank, and finds one here in Tegbaru. Tegbaru carrying it along the line, tries to cut in here on the defender, Klo. That's defended nicely. Good work by Oliver Klo, and that's knocked out for a corner kick. So a good start. And good pace to this match from both teams. There's a little bit. There's a little bit still left in the cup, but this is where the spill happened. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. 
Cross comes in from the corner, headed just over top the bar. Great chance there from the set piece for Vaughn SC and their boys under 15 squad, but unable to put it on target. And that one sails out for the goal kick, which Antonov takes quickly and short. They play it up the line as it's controlled by Klo. Tries to make the move, but it's off the Vaughn player, and it'll be controlled here for Sigma with the throw in. Oh, with the ball looking to toss in here. Vaughn able to come up with possession only temporarily as Libertucci had it knocked away. Now they get it back. Good job as it's controlled by Tegbaru. Tegbaru tries to take on the defender in Klo. His pass picked off and now Klo comes away with it for Sigma. Looking for a counterattack through the midfield. Touched on that time by Rowe, but possession turned over. And now Vaughn looked to switch out wide for a potential counter as it was... Sent up by Curry and then tackled closely. It's out for a Sigma throw. Nice work along the line there by Montemarano. Loose ball contested now by Vasco as he tries to come away with it. But Sigma knock it forward and this could be trouble. Is running onto it. One of the attackers getting up there was Esprit. But it's knocked out for a Sigma throw in the attacking third. So five minutes gone here in the opening half of play. And a tightly contested match with good pace from both squads. As from the throw in, Sigma work it to Augini. His cross attempt off a defender and out for a corner. So nice work down low by Christopher Augini to win the corner. Setting up for an outswinger, but a man checking two in a short option in Klo. And they're actually going to leave it for Klo to take. He still has a short option. They do play it short. Sigma trying to work their way out front now. Klo, left-footed attempt. Parried over the bar. Big save by Campoli, the goalie. Holy moly, what a save by Campoli, the goalie. So both keepers being tested early on. Antonov with the first save of the match. Campoli there with a good punch over the bar, and it'll be another corner now. As Klo providing the short option, I believe, but it doesn't look like interest. There's a cross in, headed straight up by the defender, Ivascu, and that one travels out for another corner kick. It was Klo who actually took that corner. And once again, he'll set up to take this kick. He's got a short option presenting in Xavier Rowe. But again, Klo looks content to take the in-swinger. There's the cross. And once again, headed out the back line by the defender. And it'll be another goal uh, corner kick. This time they play it short. There's the overlap. Cross in. Campoli nearly got caught off his line. Volley attempt knocked down, but no power to put it on target. And now Ivascu has it for Vaughn, but his path cut off. Good work there by Bruno to step up for Sigma. Can't quite hold possession. Both teams battling for it. And now Vaughn's back line with a missed clearance as stepping forward and knocking that one out safely. The big center back, Lorenz Curry, not taking chances there for Vaughn. Sigma try to tow it in along the goal line. Good job by Curry to come over with the extra support, and he'll clear that out for a corner. So once again, Klo heads over to the far corner, getting set to take an in-swinger. Short option presents, but with two defenders in the vicinity, Klo delivers the cross in. Campoli punches it clear. Back out for another corner kick. So Sigma generating corner after corner here, but so far nothing doing. There's a low cross from Klo, and again, defended well by Vaughn, as this time knocking it clear was Saverstein. Klo prepares for another corner now. Takes short. Gets it right back from Rowe. Defended tightly, but it ricochets back to a defender stepping up. As Sigma move it out wide. The pass coming from Bruno. Klo, Rowe. Rowe tries to step around the defender. Nothing doing yet. Now he lays it back and 
Sigma will try square up once again with Kafkis on the ball. Kafkis lays that one out wide as they have to go all the way back to the back line where it's picked up by White. And now they'll try work the near flank as they move it out wide. Controlled here by Rowe. He made the positional change to come over to this near flank, but in the end it was turned over as Marrera comes up with it. Nearly picked away, but just getting there was Curry to make the defensive play. Headed back by Vaughn's back line. Missed clearance by Curry. It's picked up now by Bruno. He tries to send a man on the run, but Campoli heads up keeping, comes off his line, and takes possession. Pressure being supplied on the back of Ruggiero. He goes back to his keeper in Campoli, who gets the clearance, but it's anticipated well by White, who steps up for Sigma. His cross in Campoli. Comes out with safe hands, but they're going to call it a corner as Campoli landed just outside the boundary of play. So a corner kick here for Sigma. Man, I'm still rattled about that tee. I'm going to have to go get one between games now. Jeez. One of those days. But it's a great game on the pitch, I tell you, here at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Both teams creating offensive opportunities. Sigma have been putting the pressure on Vaughn. As keep an eye on Bruno unmarked at the top of the 18. He could be a late runner. As there's the cross coming in. Bruno never made the movement. Now it pops out to him. There's the shot. And Campoli made it look easier than it may have been. As he just took a shuffle to his left and easily plucked that out of air. As the long drive came in off the foot of Zane Bruno for Sigma FC. If we are tied at the end of regulation, we go straight to penalty kicks. Five shooters apiece. But it's early in this match, just the 11th minute of play. As you're tuned into the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Advantage here for Vaughn as they start to brew an attack. Good ball played out wide into the area. Trying to take on the defender there was Dranier, but in the end defended tightly. And now Sigma have it through midfield. Bruno draws back. Klo receiving the pass. Picks out Bruno. Klo looking up the line for an option. Headed on by the defender. In Shravstein, and now it's picked up by Sigma as it ricocheted its way over to Dimitrov. He touches that one out wide. There's a cross in, looking for the aerial header, but no one there in white to get a touch on it. The closest player in vicinity was Xavier Rowe, but he just couldn't quite get up high enough to get a touch on that quality cross with Campoli coming off his line. There's the header from Rowe. They continue to contest for possession as Bruno touches out wide. Klo checks his options, tries to take the defender straight on. Now he has to retreat a little bit before laying it back for Bulat. Bulat coughs it up, and now Vaughn looking for a counterattack across midfield. But how about that hustle there as coming back to make the play was Obakue. Loose ball as it's controlled now by Sigma. Ogini starts to take it out wide. Looking for an option, squaring up against the defender in Prosiak, and it's out for a Vaughn throw. Nice work that time on the defensive work and by Michael Prosiak. Vaughn take it and try work their way forward here with possession as running onto it was Tavares Roach, but it was quickly knocked away from him. And they're going to say it went off of the Vaughn forward. And out for a Sigma throw. So Sigma take the throw, looking for an option across midfield. It's turned over and now picked up here by Marrera. He quickly tried to hit Tavares Roach. Now controlled by Tegabru. He takes that long left-footed shot. But Tegabru's attempt off a defender out for a corner. So after having to defend a number of corner kicks, let's see what Vaughn can do with this opportunity. As Schwarzstein gets set to take the outswinger. Good ball played in, headed away by the defensive challenge in Bulat. 
picked up by Tegbaru as he lays it back to Schwarzstein. His cross to the back post. Good keeping, but it's only partially cleared. And then the volley attempt just goes wide. Well, Antonov came off his line with a strong punch, ended up knocking it right to a Vaughn attacking midfielder in Libertucci. And Libertucci's volley attempt just missed. As we're still awaiting the opening breakthrough here, 0 0 into the 15th minute of play as you're tuned into the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. We're streaming live on the Ontario Soccer Twitch channel. There's a good ball played for a Sigma player to run onto, and this could be trouble. Good defending, getting it back. Oh, drawing around the man. What a defensive play. What a one-on-one -on -one battle there between Daniel Esprit and Lorenz Curry, and in the end, Curry making a tremendous defensive stand to clear the pressure. But Sigma quickly get it back. Working their way through the midfield. Switch to the near side. Rowe tries to draw down. Appeals for a handball. And the Vaughn player nearly grabbed it before the whistle. That'll draw a bit of a verbal warning from the match official as cooler heads will prevail here. The Sigma fans want a caution shown. Oh, and they're going to give the free kick to Sigma. Wow, that's interesting. I think the Vaughn player, well, he should have waited for the whistle, no doubt, but the match official had the whistle in his mouth, ready to blow it. So it was a close call, and in the end, the free kick goes to Sigma. Klo gets set to take the free kick. Let's see how Vaughn respond. Are they rattled? No. Defensively, they take their shape, and they get a clearance here as they switch the ball over to the far flank, and now they'll look to counter. As bringing it forward was Ivascu, but he's closed down immediately. That's knocked out for a Vaughn throw. From the throw, a foul committed, so a free kick here for Vaughn. They take it short, and now they'll switch it to the near side. Good ball forward to pick out the man as running onto it for Vaughn was Marrera after the pass came from Ruggiero, but in the end knocked away. They'll try once again as Tegbaru fights off the first challenge, lays that one over to Monterano, but in the end turned over, and now here goes Sigma, quickly blazing up the far touchline, is defending well was Ogini shielding the ball. He thought he had won the throw for Sigma, but possession to Vaughn. Stepping up, anticipating well, a bit of a wild challenge, but Vaughn able to come away with possession. As Sigma now quickly get it back through the midfield. Bruno stepping up. His through ball knocked down and then volley forward there by Montemarano. That one out of touch and it'll be a Sigma throw in. Long toss as it's knocked with a bit of an uncontrolled touch, but Vaughn able to take possession here as Tegbaru touches out wide. Control now by Marrera. Tries to get it back to Tegbaru, but that picked off by Klo. And Sigma move it up to the half before it's not clear by Ruggiero. So out for a Sigma throw as Oliver Klo gets set to take the toss. Looking for options around him. Not a ton of movement off the ball. Now gets a player or two to make a run as he uses the closest man. And now they play it back for Bulat. He goes to the keeper, Antonov. Switches it. As they'll try build up through the back line, the long ball played forward and knocked away by the Vaughn defender out for a Sigma throw-in. So Kafkis gets set to take the throw here for Sigma. After a single bounce controlled by Ogini, he tries to work his way along the line, but it's out for a Vaughn throw-in. Back and forth, the team's exchanging possession as now it's controlled through the midfield by Sigma. Good ball played ahead and quickly taken off the foot by the defensive effort of Curry. Switched out wide, controlled by Tegbaru. Tegbaru taking on Klo. Steps over the ball, but a heavy touch and he turns possession over. 
as Klo takes it for Sigma. Chips it forward. Bruno trying to shield it away from the man. Hands all over the back of Bruno. Nothing doing. And it'll just go out for a throw-in. Marrera was draped on the back of Bruno like a cape. But nothing doing. And now Sigma have it out through the center circle where it's touched wide by Obakue. Kafkis back to Obakue. He's got a little bit of space in front of him. Ops to bring it to the near side before laying it off. Bruno touches for Klo. The captain for Sigma feeds the ball forward, but defended well there by Schwarzstein. And now his pass over to Tavares Roach as he tries to fight off the man. Cheeky back heel to pick out a teammate there in Marrera. And now it's controlled by Schwarzstein. Marrera, he's got a man making the run. Tegbaru runs onto it, draws with his right foot, looks for a left-footed crossing option, blocked well by Klo. It's right back to Tegbaru. He lays it back for Schwarzstein. He's got an option out wide, picks out the man at the top of the 18, quickly flicked, battle for possession as Kafkis tries to clear it for Sigma, and he does well to knock that out to the half. Quickly, though, Vaughn try press back into the attacking third. Nothing doing this time as Bruno picks it off. Klo, his attempt goes off of... Tegbaru and out for a Sigma throw-in. And a chance for us to remind you that Ontario soccer values fair play and we share this common passion with our partners from Respect in Sport, the leading e-learning platform for the prevention of bullying, abuse, harassment, and discrimination. Learn more about their programs and start your Respect education journey today at respectgroupinc.com. From the throw, Vaughn take possession as it's into the midfield, controlled by Montemirano. He quickly turns it over, and now it's picked up by Dimitrov for Sigma. Dimitrov, he's got a defender all over him, so he drops it back for Klo, who in turn will play back to the keeper, Antonov. Options to his right and left. He uses the defender to the right in white. Kafkis back to White. He plays the ball forward, headed down by a Vaughn defender at midfield, but Sigma quickly retained possession with Bruno on the ball. Bruno sends a good ball forward, but a little too heavy there as Ogini unable to run onto it, and it's out for a Vaughn throw in. Vaughn with the initial flick on from the throw, but possession turned over and now controlled by Bruno. Tries to step around the man as the pass through. It was actually Obikue on the attack there for Sigma as he tried to make the pass to Esprit, but quickly they'll have the throw. And from the throw, trying to work off the defender, nothing doing as Vaughn take possession here. Touched out wide and... Nice work by Ivascu to get around a couple of challengers. Now makes the pass to Tavares Roach. Controlled on a good touch by Marrera. Marrera still battling. Tavares Roach backing him up with support. Schwarzstein, Tavares Roach trying to split the D as it ricochets to Tegbaru. But Klo comes in. Good body positioning and good strength for Klo to take it away. And then that ball across the line out for a Vaughn throw in. So a good pace here in this match as we're halfway through the first half, 23rd minute of action. We're still awaiting the breakthrough here at the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. A lot of contact on the back of Tegbaru, no call. As Sigma now try to work their way through the midfield, but it's turned over as controlling it for a moment was Montemirano. And now a foul called by the Sigma midfielding duo in Bruno and Obikue, and quickly Vaughn take the free kick short to Tegbaru. Tegbaru trying to take on a trio of defenders, turns it over, and now Rowe has it for Sigma. Good pass as he picks out Dimitrov, who in turn sends it for Esprit, tries to turn the defender Curry. They collide, Esprit gets back up, tries to battle for it, pulls the jersey of Curry, and that'll be a free kick. Good job by the match official there to let things play out, see how it turned out. And then with no advantage, pulled the foul back. So Curry takes the free kick short as Schwarzstein played it back. And now it goes all the way back to the keeper, Luca Campoli. 
Campoli puts the right-footed ball through and nothing doing as it's out for a Sigma throw. Just a bit of tension you can feel here. Both of these fan bases ready to explode for an opening breakthrough. Both teams playing strong, aggressive, but neither wanting to commit a mistake. And here's a turnover as Tegbaru takes it forward now for Vaughn. He tracks it into the attacking third, starts to retreat his way back. Good defending there by Lucas Bullet. He was not fooled. And now he plays a good ball ahead for a spree, but his touch ends up towards a Vaughn player. Is battling for it was Moreira, and he knocks it out. And it'll be a throw into Sigma FC. Well, if this is any indication of what's on top this weekend at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield, I tell you what, we're going to be in for a great weekend of soccer action here with some of the top squads from the OPDL, as it's been a banger of a match so far between Vaughn and Sigma. But there's a mistake by the Sigma back line, and it'll be a throw in for Vaughn on the brink of the attacking third. Montemirano, he's defended closely, and in the end, he turns it over. So possession now to Sigma with a throw in in front of their bench. 25th minute of action. As it's nil-nil here between Sigma FC and Vaughn SC. It's the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. We're streaming live on the Ontario Soccer Twitch channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you like, donate as well. We appreciate everyone tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. We'll get to some viewer shout-outs. But this could be a chance now for Sigma, as working their way into the penalty area was Ogini, and then his ball locked any threat as it was easily scooped up by Campoli. He bowls it out quickly as they work it ahead for Tegbaru. Tegbaru working off the defender, Klo, has to go back to his back line, and now Schwarzstein takes it ahead for Vaughn as a quick touch, and now it's with Tavares Roach. What a pass! Tegbaru running on, touches a little bit wide. He pulls now back, looking for a crossing option. Maybe should have tried a one-time crack. There's a cross over to the far flank as the ball supplied by Marrera, and it's held in along the touchdown by Avascu. Missed touch there, but a clearance and knocked out of play by White. And it'll be a throw in for Vaughn. <coughs> so a good threat by Vaughn to try spring a quick counter. But in the end, after a cheeky touch from Tavares Roach, Tegbrew couldn't quite keep it close enough for a shot attempt. And now they'll work in the attacking third from a throw in. Tavares Roach receives the throw in, man on his back. Possession once again to Vaughn. David Ivascu takes the throw. Tavares Roach controlling it here for Vaughn. Tries to take the defender on. A lot of contact. Nothing doing as he got spun around. And now Sigma trying to work their way through the midfield here on their own side of half. Good ball played up as working that far touchdown was Ogini. The defender had no option but to clear it out for the throw in. So Christopher Ogini gets set to take. He'll actually opt to leave the throw for a teammate. As it'll be the defender, Pelo Kafkis, coming up to take the toss. Kafkis working his way, inching forward. The toss over to his spree, not clear by Curry. Controlled now by Bruno for Sigma. Kafkis, as Sigma try... To reset, they'll draw the ball back. Attempted switch, nearly intercepted, but Klo now takes possession. Rowe, Xavier Rowe with a man on his back. Check that. That's actually Dimitrov who made the pass. It's now controlled by Vaughn as they look to counter. Marrera tried to shield it there from Bruno. Dimitrov comes in as well. Marrera, wow, great dribbling by Marrera to evade both defenders. Tegbaru, he crosses in, headed away by Sigma's back line, only as far as Tegbaru. Good pressure here now from Vaughn. Schwarzstein plays it over. There's an attempt as it's controlled now by Marrera. Spins off the defender. Good control as they shield the ball. Marrera, Tegbaru, draws to his left foot. Cross attempt gets blocked. 
Schwartzstein picks up the loose ball, and now Vaughn go through their back line with Curry. Schwartzstein, he looks for an option. Trying to step up was Dimitrov for the interception, but that's picked off. Good defensive work there by Montemarano. <laughs> Controlled here by Sigma now. As they try pick out Rowe, but that was anticipated well by the defender as stepping up was Ruggiero. He's still on the ball for Vaughn. Ruggiero lays it off for Tegbaru into the corner for Tavares Roach as he tries to take on Klo. Tavares Roach down in discomfort looking for a call. I think he took that one in the nether regions and nothing doing in the end. As here goes Tegbaru tries to take on the defender in Bruno, lays it over. Looking for an option. They lay it back now as stepping up with it is Marrera right into the penalty area, taking on three defenders. And then finally, Bulat able to knock it clear. Ruggiero. Curry. Vaughn. Trying to condense the field here as it's brought up by Montemarano. He looks for an option. Gets closed down and his pass ends up being picked off by Obakui. As now here goes Sigma working the far flank. Good job by that defensive slide tackle to knock it away from the foot of Christopher Ogini. As Ogini continues to provide that attacking threat on the right flank for Sigma. From the throw-in, they try pick out Esprit. He crosses, but that one too sharp an angle, and it's out for a goal kick. And an opportunity for us to remind you that Canada Soccer have marked the 50-day countdown to the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 with the introduction of the hashtag WeCanCollective, a user-generated digital movement that gives fans a voice and a role to join our players and team at Qatar 2022. A bilingual national campaign under Canada Soccer's We Can signature using the following hashtags, hashtag We Can, hashtag We Can, that's O-U-I-C-A-N, as in the French We, We Can. To learn more, visit canadasoccer.com. Battle for possession through the midfield. Uh, Sigma have it. Bruno, he gets closed down. Heavy touch gives it away as Tavares Roach. He's muscled out of position. A advantage here is Tavares Roach got trampled, but coming away with it are Vaughn as Marrera slams away from the first challenge only to have his pocket picked on the second attempt. Nice work by the defender in Adrian White to bring that play forward for Sigma. And now Ruggiero there for the defensive clearance as Campoli, the goalie, will knock that one out to the center circle. Foul called on that challenge by Libertucci, and it'll be a free kick for Sigma as more and more fans piling into the Ontario Soccer Center indoor stadium field house as... From the free kick, Sigma taking it forward. There's a pass. Rowe crossing it. Goal face. And that one not clear by the defender. Lorenz Curry. So we'll see what Sigma can do with this corner kick as... Two players standing over top the ball in Dimitrov and Klo. They play it short. Dimitrov looks for the cross in. Campoli punches it clear. Bruno pulls it down. The volley attempt blocked. Sigma still pressing. Klo draws it over to Dimitrov. Checking his options. Dribbles. Makes a good pass through to find Bulat, who didn't quite pull back to an onside position. And with the offside infraction, that'll do it for that chance for Sigma. 33rd minute of action as we're minutes away from the halftime break. Still scoreless, 0-0 zero, zero here between Vaughn and Sigma Campoli. Ooh, that was dangerous and nerve-wracking, but the keeper Campoli just got that ball away from Esprit, who was closing him down. Klo heads that away for the defensive 
play for Sigma. Bulat takes possession, draws back to his keeper, Antonov. Both keepers have been good so far in the first half. You could make the argument that Campoli's been the busier, certainly having to come off his line more to pick off crosses and challenge some of the wing play provided by Sigma as Bulat takes it forward. Drops back now. White over to his keeper, Antonov. Antonov was tested earlier in the opening minute of this match, in fact, when he came up with a big save. and. He's been solid since as well. As there's a header played on by Esprit. Campoli way out of his area. Oh, he gets beat. Oh, but hesitation on the volley attempt. And Curry able to clear it away from the attacker. I believe it was Ogini up there for Sigma. He's had his back to us the whole time, but it was Ogini who couldn't quite find a way to connect with a shot attempt. And again, after a tense moment where Campoli came way out of his area and then missed the clearance, bailed out by his center back, Curry, Vaughn have now retaken their shape defensively. Sigma pressing up once again. Ruggiero there for the clearance. Turned, and now here goes Tegbaru as he's got time and space, feeds it ahead for Marrera. Marrera pulls, makes the pass to Tegbaru. Closed down by a couple of defenders. Ball ricochets away as Obakue nearly takes it, but it's Tegbaru who comes up with it for Vaughn. Ruggiero, he coughs it up to, well, he almost coughed it up to Rowe, but then Rowe knocked it away. Check that. Dimitrov knocked it away, and it's out for a Vaughn throw-in. From the throw, possession turned over. Esprit looks to switch it out wide. To the far flank intended for Ogini, but couldn't quite pick out his teammate. And now Vaughn have it as they work their way through the midfield. That pass picked off. Here goes White for Sigma. Makes the pass ahead. Obakue, heavy touch at first, but he does well to wrestle possession back. With three Vaughn players on him, turns it over. Lots of contact on the second challenge there on the other Sigma player. And the whistle blown for the free kick. Well, the physicality picking up, the intensity picking up. Adrian White fouled on the play. He wins the free kick for Sigma. And Bulat will step up to take the kick. 37th minute of action. Sigma FC, Vaughn SC, tied 0-0, boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Bulat plays it long. Curry heads it forward. And now Tegbaru fights off the defender in Klo. Ruggiero. Schwarzstein. He takes it forward for Vaughn. Makes the pass. His pass picked off by Bruno. Esprit. Touches that one out wide. Ogini has it. Working the flank for Sigma. Ogini steps over the ball. Dancing with it. Trying to take the defender on. Ogini shields it. Draws back now. As Kafkis looks for an option. Back to Ogini. He's closed down. Good defending here and good shape by Vaughn inside their own defensive third. As Kafkis, he dribbles his way back to the half line. And nice work there by White to evade the challenge from Tegbru. It was actually Tavares Roach providing that challenge as now it's out for a Sigma throw in. From the throw, it'll be Kafkis to toss it in. Looks for a man. Esprit there trying to shield it from the defender, Curry. Darting challenges. Wow, no call there. Is a huge contact. Klo draws a left-footed shot. Two Sigma players at the top of the six. Neither could get a touch, and it's out for a goal kick. And all the while, Marrera down on the turf in significant discomfort as he was the recipient of that diving challenge provided by the striker, Esprit. And it looks like Marrera is going to be okay to stay in this match. So a good sight there to see. Actually, check that. was Schwarzstein, 34, not 31. Schwarzstein taking the worst of that, and 
Good to see him able to pop back up on his own power and continue on here in the 39th minute. Campoli plays it short from the goal kick. Schwarzstein with a man on his back. Lays it over to Tavares Roach, who goes back to Schwarzstein, and now it's controlled by Marrera. Nutmegs the midfielder in Obakue, and then they switch it out wide, where Ivascu's cross attempt was blocked, but it's out for a Vaughn throw. From the throw, Vaughn flicking it forward as Tegbaru there. Quickly makes its way back to the midfield. Schwarzstein. As they try working through the back line with Curry. Switches to the near touch line. Tavares Roach. Good ball over to Tegbaru. That one hits his arm. No whistle as play continues on with an advantage. Advantage doesn't generate, but it's not called back either. As there's a shot from distance. Oh, that one just missed. Good eye and good challenge on that attempt. I believe it was Ivascu who let it fly. And that one didn't miss by much. From the goal kick, Antonov. As we're into the 40th minute of action, and a reminder that today's OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel during halftime. Ivasco takes it up the far flank, tries to take on the defender, and Kafkis gets around him. Ivasco looks for a cross. Lots of power, not enough accuracy, and that's out for a goal kick. So we anticipate maybe a minute or two of added time here in the first half, but shouldn't be too much to go as we await the halftime whistle and we still await the opening breakthrough on the scoreboard. It's 0-0 as we track towards halftime in this boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield between Vaughn SC and Sigma FC. Sigma win themselves a throw in here on the attacking side of half and Klo looks for an option as they work their way towards the 18. Klo gets it back, tries to take on Schwarzstein. That's turned over. And now it's Esprit that comes out of the scrum with possession. Good job by Esprit. Thought about the shot. Now he lets it fly. And that one up into the rafters where a lucky fan gets to toss it back. And there's a halftime whistle. So at the break... It's Vaughn Zero Sigma Zero as you're tuned in to the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Second half kickoff coming up next. It begins with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. We're here today at the uh, community check-in with our partners from SportCheck and Respect in Sport and having a great time with uh, 35 kids from our community. I'm just here to help out with the kids today while they were playing soccer during their boot camp and learning about everything they were learning about. A core value in sport, which is respect. Understanding respect with players that you're playing against, with your teammates, with your coaches, with the refs, and with the audience is extremely important. Our part in it is the Respect in Sport program for parents. The Respect in Sport parent program, it's a 60-minute program, costs 12 bucks. 
It's completed online and it just brings you onto the same page about these issues so that you can contribute to a positive and safe experience for your kids and for the rest of the people alongside you. Parents should attend the respectful play because they're involved in the games too. It's, it's a big part of the game and we need to respect everybody, especially the referees and everybody on the field. If you take the courses, you start to understand that your words have an impact on the players especially. I think all of these community events are just phenomenal opportunities for the children to become a little more acquainted with the true values that they need to have. And as a parent, I've also learned how to be more respectful with regards to other parents on the sidelines, referees, and as well as coaches. Well, my favorite part of today it was meeting Dwayne. Dwayne, of course, is a legend of the Canadian game, uh, and he had some uh, great wisdom to uh, impart on the uh, young players. Respect in sport is important because it teaches a lot of aspects of respect. Respect of time, respect of teammates, respect of community, respect for yourself, and respect for your surroundings. And I think sport is a great vehicle to teach respect at all, all aspects, all levels, and no one's ever too old to learn about respect. Respect in sport means sportsmanship, and even when a dirty play or anything gets you down, you can get back up and then just treat the other players like, like nothing happened, basically. Uh, respect means to me is uh, always being nice to people and treat people the way you want to be treated. The respect in sport, Sport Check and Ontario Soccer did a phenomenal job today um, at bringing all of the players and parents um, together to understand a little bit better. You know, if you hit a player down, you come, you pick him back up and, and you have a respectful handshake and you go on and that's how we play. There is something quite magical about heading into a new destination. A journey into the unknown. Not alone, but together as a country, as a sport, ready to soar. We are Canada and this is our sport. This is our time. I'm Lizzie and I'm 11 years old. I play for Markham FC and I'm an attacking midfielder. My favorite thing about soccer is learning new tricks and trying them on the field. Today I'm going to be showing you the SRP move. Let's go. Step one is to cross the ball over with your weak foot. Number two, step over the ball with your dominant foot. Step three is to pull the ball back with your weak foot. Step four is to chop the ball behind your weak foot with your dominant foot and finally explode with the ball down the field. Now that you know all the steps, try the SRP move for yourself. My proudest soccer moment was when I made the Markham OPDL team. If you're trying to learn new tricks, be creative and don't give up. Hi, my name is Fatlam and I'm 20 years old. I play five-a-side soccer for North Mississauga Soccer Club and I'm a forward. Today I'm going to teach you speed, dribble and change direction tricks. Step 1. Dribble the ball forward. Step 2. Place the inside of the foot and outside of the ball. Step 3. Turn your body towards the direction that you're going. Step 4. Continue to dribble. My proudest moment is when we won the gold medal in Paris Sports with North Mississauga Soccer Club. My favorite thing about playing soccer is that like, I feel myself when I'm in the field. My advice to the players that want to learn cool tricks is keep trying, don't give up. Hey, I'm Melissa and I'm 13 years old. I play for UMSC and I'm a striker. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do the Neymar dance. Step one, use your weak foot to step over the ball. Step two, use your other foot to tap the ball. Step three, use your strong foot to step over the ball. And finally, step four, use the outside of your foot to push the ball past the defender. I learned this trick by watching Neymar on YouTube. My favorite thing about playing soccer is meeting new people and making friends. 
My best advice would be look up a trick you like and just practice over and over and over, over. Hey, my name is Sam. I'm 15 years old. I play for Vaughn Soccer Club and I'm a winger. Today we're gonna learn the soul roll flick. I first saw Neymar do it on YouTube and I knew I had to learn it myself. Step one, you're gonna step to the opposite side. Step two, you're gonna roll the ball to your back foot. Step three, you're gonna flick the ball with the inside of your foot. Step four, turn your body towards the ball to continue doing keep ups. My advice for other players is just to watch the players on YouTube and learn the tricks yourself. My proudest soccer moment has been playing for Team Ontario and hearing my name on the commentary. My favorite thing about playing soccer is playing with my friends and learning new things with my coach. What's up? I'm Leta, I'm Vita, and, and we're, we're 17. 17. We play striker and winger for Markham Soccer Club, and this is our trick. Today, we're going to teach you how to do a heel flick up, and you can learn it in just five steps. Let's go. Step one, roll the ball back to your opposite foot. Step two, flip the ball up with your opposite foot about hip height. Step three, combine steps one and two in a fluid and continuous motion. Step four, turn your body in the opposite direction of your dominant foot. Step five, use your dominant heel to flick the ball up over your head. We hope you enjoyed our step-by-step. -step. Now it's your turn to give it a try. My favorite thing about playing soccer is just the creativity I can have, the ability to express myself and who I am. Nothing feels better than putting in the work and then applying it on the field. My proudest soccer moment is definitely winning the Charity Shield last year with Marka. What an amazing experience. If you want to learn a cool trick, just remember, practice makes perfect. And remember to have fun with it. That's the key. Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm 14 years old. I play for Woodbridge Strikers, and I'm a center mid. My favorite thing about playing soccer is playing with the team and in a team environment. Today, I'm going to teach you three easy steps to do around the world. Step one, juggle the ball to get prepared for the trick. Use the outside of your foot to pop the ball up, then bring your leg around it. Lastly, regain control of the ball and continue to dribble. Now you know the steps, now it's your turn to go around the world. My proudest soccer moment is at 13 years old, playing on the U15 provincial team. The best advice I would give about learning a new trick is keep trying and don't give up. The Active Start course is for anyone involved in soccer who wants to better support a child ages 3 and 4 years old. Those taking the course will learn how to engage children through soccer with age-appropriate fun and safe soccer activities. The aim of these soccer activities is to become familiar with a soccer ball while being in a child-friendly environment and connecting with a significant adult in their life. Come be a part of helping kids fall in love with the game. The C license course is the first step into the Canada Soccer Coaching License stream. This course will take you towards all of the Canada Soccer Coach licenses. You will learn the role of the coach, how to plan a session safely, use coaching methodology to provide feedback to players and improve their decision making. Entry to this course requires a Learn to Train or Soccer for Life. This is a major step for All right, soccer fans, let's get you set for the second half kickoff here at the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. And before we get the action back underway, let's say a big thank you to Ontario soccer partner, Soccer Express, for their first-class support. As Canada's premier soccer apparel and equipment dealer, Soccer Express has everything needed to take your game to the next level. 
Visit SoccerX.com to check out the latest gear from Adidas, Nike, Puma, Admiral, and more. Just about set to kick off the second half of action. We've got a substitution to make note of as Vaughn have switched up their keeper. So Luca, the goalie Campoli, man, I'm going to miss saying that, is out of this game. He gets a clean sheet in the first half. He's replaced by his keeper comrade, Michael Macri Georgios, as Macri Georgios now takes over goalkeeping duties for Vaughn as Sigma kick us off here in the second half of action and picking up possession is Atiotas. Turned over, and now let's see what Vaughn can do as they try a counterattack with Drenea on the ball. Makes the pass over to Tavares Roach as he shields it there from Bruno. Touches out wide to Tegbaru. Tegbaru steps over, draws to his left foot. There's an attempt, that one wide of goal, and out for a goal kick, never threatening Antonov. Both teams making a few substitutions at the half, and again, should we remain tied at the final whistle will go straight to penalties five kickers apiece we've still got 40 minutes of action before that outcome comes to fruition let's see which team can get the opening breakthrough if there is one as schwarzstein plays it back they'll switch it to the near side now and it'll be picked up by prosik prosik he'll go back to the keeper Marky Georgios, as he plays that one out with the left foot. Knocked down by Dimitrov. Heavy touches and ends up turning it over. Dimitrov nearly gets it back, but Schwarzstein comes forward with it, and now he lays it off for Tegbaru. Tegbaru's ball as he tries to pick out a runner in Ivascu, but that's picked off. And now through the center circle, it's controlled by Dimitrov for Sigma. Dimitrov steps away from the challenge, draws back, and a quick return pass, but Dimitrov had drifted over to the wing, and here goes Tegbaru bringing it into the box. There's a shot attempt in that one, high and wide, out for a goal kick. Tough break there, as Sam Tegbaru never quite had full control once he let it off his foot, and the shot attempt never threatened the keeper in Antonov. But good pressure from both squads. And now Vaughn able to, with partial possession, take it from the goal kick. Loose ball picked up here by Montemirano. He checks his options, plays it out wide. As Tegbaru, with time and space, chips forward intended for Marrera, but defended well by Ballot and knocked out for the throw. Taken quickly by Vaughn. They lose possession from the throw. And now here goes Sigma trying to counter through the midfield as... They touch it out wide, and now ahead for Esprit. Tries to work his way around the defender. Good move and nice play to find Atiota with the ball. Atiota trying to dance around the defenders, but lost his own footing and ended up coughing up possession. Controlled now by Ripton for Sigma. As Ripton with a player on his back, he has to go further back for Adrian White, who in turn goes all the way back to his keeper, Antonov. Antonov. His ball running onto it and taking control is Klo. Tries to chip forward. Defended well. Nice work on the back line there by Montemirano to knock that out for the throw. Actually, check that. That was Ruggiero there defensively. From the throw, Sigma looking for possession. Vaughn with a missed clearance as it's knocked over by Sigma's bag. They try work the far touch line, getting around the first challenge, and then the ball knocked out. And it's a corner kick awarded to Sigma. Actually, check that. The ball out along the touch line first, so it'll be a Vaughn throw in. Good job there by the AR1 to keep the flag up and get the attention of the match official to correct the call. Vaughn will take the throw in from their own defensive third as they play it ahead. Tegbaru, check that. That was Tavares Roach who tried the flick. Miss hits, and now it's controlled by the back line of Sigma as Adrian White goes to his keeper, Antonov. White 
Picked up here by Ripton. White nearly gets closed down. Antonov's got to knock that out with his right foot. And possession control now by Schwarzstein. But his pass, a little bit off the mark. And now it's controlled by Atiota for Sigma. Good ball is running onto it now is Begg. Adam Begg, he crosses in. Great defensive slide challenge there by Curry to knock it. So Sigma get the corner kick here, and once again, they'll send two players into the corner with a potential short option, but as the assistant referee reties his shoe, we're going to have to slow down the proceedings here, and that'll allow Klo to set up for an in-swinger. Dimitrov still providing a short option, no interest from Klo, delivers the cross in, headed away, and now picked up by Bruno as Bruno... Takes a lot of contact, nothing doing it. Now here go Vaughn on the counter as Tegbaru gets the loose ball. He's got Tavares Roach running forward. Tegbaru gets around the first defender. Driving wide, crosses in front. Oh, that one nearly snuck its way to a loose player. But Antonov with some heads up goalkeeping after his own defender let it roll through. And Antonov just there to pick off the cross. Tense moments for the Sigma back line. Bulat steps up. Check that. That was actually Ripton stepping up to make the play for Sigma. Now they switch it out wide. Running on to keep it in play is Dimitrov. Taking on the defender. Trying to work around Schwarzstein as well. But Vaughn's defender and Schwarzstein there for the clearance. Marrera. He tries to shield it from Bulat. Ends up losing possession as Bruno steps up to take it. He chips that out wide. As it's controlled by Rode. Dimitrov can't quite. Pick up that intended pass. Partial clearance gets blocked. Dimitrov volleys it forward for a spree. He tries to take on Curry. Lots of contact. That one went off the hand of a spree, but into the hands of the keeper, Maki Chorchos, and he'll quickly throw that one out. So the intensity really picking up here in the second half as there's a pass forward, and now Vaughn trying to work something on the offensive end. Tavares Roach nearly got the pass through. In fact, his teammate did pick it up only for a moment as Drenea couldn't quite hold on to it. And now it's Tiota who has it for Sigma. Lenny at Tiota, he plays that one through the center circle where it's touched out wide. Far flank, Dimitrov picks out the man in a spree, but he's offside. And that'll put an end to the chance for Sigma. And it'll give us an opportunity to remind you that both TFC and the CPL are vital aspirational destinations along the talented pathway. We'll actually get back to this because here goes Tavares Roach into the penalty area trying to take on the defenders. The ball knocked loose and Sigma now have it through the midfield end-to-end -end action here in the boys under-15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. We'll get back to that sponsor read in just a moment, but... Both teams trying to press into the attacking third. One moment it's Sigma, then it's Vaughn, and now Sigma back in possession. And here goes Dimitrov, taking it as he's got time and space in front of him, takes on the defender in Schwarzstein, now lays it out wide. Dimitrov gets it back. He opens up a little bit of space there and now touches over to Bruno. Bruno lays that one back as Bulat takes room in front of him before he's approached. Quick little one-two. Bulat able to knock it out wide where Rowe running onto it. Check that. That's actually the defender, White, who's up there making that threat. And he's earned a corner kick for Sigma. So both TFC and CPL are vital aspirational destinations along the talented pathway. TFC, through its TFC Academy, is a pinnacle club soccer destination for aspiring professional male soccer players in our province. We've got a substitution coming here for Vaughn. The CPL is Canada's top-tier men's domestic professional league, represented in Ontario by its members, member clubs Forge FC, York United FC, and Atletico Ottawa, provides important development opportunities for over 150 Canadian players, many of whom have come from Ontario. Sigma setting up for a corner kick in swinger, delivered in, good cross, Esprit pulls it down at the edge of the 18 on the near flank now. Esprit taking on the defender. He controls here with a man on his back. Esprit laying it over to Bruno. Bruno dances around the first challenge. Makes the pass over to 
Atiota, who tries to take a trio on, and a bit of miscommunication there between Bruno and Atiota, and it's out for a goal kick. So 50th minute of action, 30 minutes remaining in this match. And we're still awaiting the opening goal. It's 0-0 zero, zero between Vaughn and Sigma in the boys' under-15 final of the Gary Miller Charity Shield. Tense moments there for the keeper. Mackie Giorgio says he has two Sigma players closing him, but he made the ball forward. And now here go Vaughn on the attack. Tavares Roach. Oh, he's tripped up. No call. Ooh, tough break there for Vaughn. Looked like a lot of contact, but the referee was in position and was there to wave it off. Loose ball knocked away by the Vaughn back line. Trying to flick it forward was the man who got clipped in Ivascu. Actually, check that. It was Tegbaru who was up there. Ivascu couldn't quite flick forward, and now a throw in for Sigma. Well, oh, tough break for Sam Tegbru. He's been threatening all game up front for Sigma, uh, for Vaughn, excuse me, as he's done well to work his way, and he started the match in a wing play position, and he's kind of drifted into the middle throughout this match, and he's been a constant attacking threat up th front for Vaughn. Has yet to find a way to break through, though. Curry. Chips it ahead for Ivascu, but he never had control, and it's out for a Sigma throw-in. Headed away by the Vaughn defender, then a second header supplied by Prosik, and now both teams battling for it as good stretch and knock by Kavian Per for Vaughn as he wrestled away what should have been Sigma possession. Now Sigma do come up with it. As Bruno controls through the midfield. Touches over for Klo, who was closed down. And now Vaughn trying to come away with possession as lots of contact there. And in the end, Drenea was unable to get the separation. That ball knocked out of play. Vaughn earned a throw in. Ivascu. Montemirano. Back to the keeper, Maki Georgios. He hammers that out with the left foot where it's pulled down by Kabianpur. Quick little one-two. Kabianpur has time and space. Now he sends a good ball up the pitch with Tegbaru trying to close, but it was defended by Balut and now controlled by Bruno for Sigma. Adrian White, the center back, plays the ball forward with his right foot turned over. It finds its way back to White who's closed down a couple of Vaughn players on him, so he has to go back to his keeper in Antonov. Antonov, one-time clearance. Atiota couldn't get around the defender. Loose ball now controlled by Schwarzstein. Schwarzstein touches that one over to Kaliaporas. There's a good throw ball into the area. Oh! Vaughn have the breakthrough! Kaliadranea gets the goal in the 54th minute! All of the Vaughn bench runs over to celebrate, including the keeper, Maki Georgios, and Vaughn have the long-awaited breakthrough. It's one to nothing. 54th minute of action. Not sure if we had any caution shown for the celebration. It was a bit of mayhem for Vaughn in that far corner. But the breakthrough supplied by Caliandrenea for Vaughn as he found his way dicing through that Sigma back line, sent into the penalty area, and he chipped that one past Antov, Antonov to give Vaughn the one nothing lead. All those <laughs> Let's see how Sigma respond now. 55th minute of action, Vaughn get the first goal of this match and lead 1-0. Ball headed around as Esprit nearly came away with it for Sigma. Curry makes the touch, Montemirano. Ball turned over, here goes Bruno. His pass ahead for Esprit, who stays onside. Esprit crosses in front. Oh, nearly an own goal. As that one cleared away by Schwarzstein, 
And he just put that one over top the bar. Dangerous moment there for the Vaughn back line. 55th minute of play. As Sigma set up for the corner kick. Once again, it's Klo and Dimitrov. Klo over top the ball. Doesn't look too interested in the short option. Delivers the in-swinger with the left foot headed away by Ivascu into no man's land. And now here's a ball by Tavares Roach as he tries to send the goal scorer, Dranea, on a run. But he's offside. The flag goes up. Referee is yet to spot that the flag is up. Doesn't matter what happens. It's not going to count. It doesn't matter. He's offside. And now the match official spots AR1's flag to whistle down the offside. Man, this place would have gone nuts had that shot off the post gone in, only to have it called back for the offside. But Sigma have got to shore up defensively after allowing the breakthrough. They nearly get caught conceding a second time. But they do hold their shape with the defensive back line, catching Dranea offside. So, free kick taken short by Sigma, and now they'll try push forward into the attacking third as it's controlled here. Touched out wide that time by Braga. Controlled by Dimitrov as he spins off a couple of defenders, now lays it back for Klo. Looking for his option, Klo. Fighting off the challenge, it's knocked out of play, and it'll go out for a Sigma throw. 57th minute from the throw. Braga over to Dimitrov, trying to dribble out of pressure. Makes the pass back. Good ball to find Klo into the penalty area. He lays that out wide, but offside puts an end to that sequence for Sigma. And a free kick will come to Vaughn. Again, a really great crowd on hand here this morning for this opening match. Three games on the docket today. As the free kick to be taken here by Vaughn. Gotta have probably close to four or 500 fans in attendance for this boys under 15 final at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Of course, we are live streaming all six games this weekend live on Twitch on our Ontario Soccer Twitch channel. Like, subscribe, follow, donate. Check us out, twitch.tv slash Ontario underscore soccer. That's our official Twitch channel. Foul committed by Sigma. Free kick by Vaughn. Take it short and quick. As Curry looks to send Tavares Roach on a run. Check that. It's actually Tegbaru who's working the far flank now. Those two continue to switch their positions in terms of who's the outside man who works inside. For now, it's Tavares Roach trying to work inside more. There, he coughs up the ball. And possession turned right back over as Braga gives it up for Vaughn. Montemirano lays that one off. Controlled here by... Ivascu. Prosik, Montemerano. His pass ricochets to Ivascu, gets a partial touch to it, and now it'll be controlled by Beg for Sigma. They try switch it, but it's turned over. Tegbaru comes up with it for Vaughn. He dribbles around the first challenge, works his way into the middle, lays that one off for Montemerano, and then his pass intercepted as he tried to flick it back, and Providing the presence for Sigma was Bruno. He carries it ahead here. Bruno lays the ball up the line for Esprit to run onto. He takes a lot of contact, but stays on his feet. Second time he gets clipped, and I think they're just going to award a throw in there for Sigma. So good defensive work by Curry to hold the man at bay. As we're going to have a substitution coming here for Vaughn, as we're into the 60th minute, and a chance for us to remind you that Ontario Soccer is pleased to welcome SportCheck, Canada's largest sports retailer, as its official sporting goods retail partner. Both partners share the goal of inspiring Ontarians to live healthy, active lifestyles by making sport and activity more fun, approachable, and inclusive. Corner kick coming now for Sigma. 
With a vast assortment of apparel and equipment and the very best athletic brands in the world, SportCheck strives to help athletes and enthusiasts of all levels succeed. Find what moves you at sportcheck.ca. So Sigma setting up for the corner kick. It's Klo and Dimitrov in short proximity. But once again, Klo sets up for the in-swinger, delivers the ball into the area, headed up by Curry. Volley attempt missed by Bulat. He comes back with the ball, though. Tracking to the corner of the 18, tries to work his way back towards the goal line. Pulls out, cross attempt blocked away by Schwarzstein. And now flicked on as Vaughn looking for counterattack opportunities. And this could be a threat as Tegbaru taking on the defenders into the penalty area. Tegbaru, big save by Antonov. And the defender clears it out for the throw in. Well, good pace and threat shown there by Sam Tegbaru. But his shot went straight at Antonov, and what maybe should have been more threatening was a relatively easy save for Antonov. And then possession turned over on the offside infraction. So a free kick now to come for Sigma. Cam Oliver on the mic, ladies and gentlemen. He picks up the PA announcer mic, giving Sandy a bit of relief. I really hope Cam has to make some sort of announcement. Big shout out to all our Ontario soccer staff. Cam, the two Robins, Ben, Bjorn, everyone behind the scenes. Alex patrolling the Gatorade tent. It's a true team effort here with all the volunteers and staff on site this weekend. For the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield, of course, a big shout out to our production crew behind the seats as well with Aji and Paul. My name's Nico Cardarelli. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, and we're in a banger of a final here at the Gary Miller Charity Shield. It's the boys under 15 final as Tech Baru picks up the ball. There's a shot attempt from outside the box. Didn't quite have enough on it as Tavares Roach actually picked it off his teammate's foot to take that shot, and in the end, an easy save for Antonov. Good work here, as working the line is Ogini. He's freshly back into this match. Did well to keep the ball in play, but in the end, out, and it'll be a corner kick for Sigma. So good work there by Ogini to win the set-piece opportunity for Sigma. As we're into the 63rd minute of action, it's Vaughn 1, Sigma nothing. Here at the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Sigma setting up for the corner. It's Klo over top the ball. He's got a short option in Bruno. I don't know why they're keeping the short there. This is about the sixth straight corner where Klo showed no interest. You're just leaving a man outside the area. Cross comes in. Oh, the keeper nearly made a meal of it as Michael Macri Georgios dropped it out of his mitts for a second. That had to have been the longest second of his life, but he quickly got possession back, and now he bowls it out over to Schwarzstein. Schwarzstein touches out wide. They start to work the flank. Ball turned over as Braga now takes it for Sigma. Braga taking on the defender, makes the touch over to Klo. He's closed down, but Klo retains it for Sigma here in the 64th minute. They draw it back for Bula. Bulat checking his options, wants to switch as he plays the ball into the penalty area, but Maki Gregos once again, Maki Georgios nearly mishandled it, but no pressure on him that time. And then his drop kick nearly straight into the Sigma player. You have to wonder about that goaltending change at the half as Campoli was calm, cool, and collected in goal for Vaughn, and Maki Georgios hasn't been called to action too many times. He's made a few saves here in the second half. But he hasn't looked super confident at times either, despite getting the job done so far. You would think his biggest test yet to come is Sigma have to feel some urgency now with a little more than 15 minutes of match time remaining. As White goes back to his keeper, Antonov. Dranya tries to close him down. The ball played out by Antonov only as far as the Vaughn player pinching in from the half. Now here goes Tegbaru. His cross attempt. Off of White, that one out for a throw-in. Approaching 
the final 10 minutes of match play. Should we find ourselves in a tied scoreline after 80 regulation minutes, we'd go straight to penalties. But right now it's Vaughn, one Sigma, nothing. Vaughn with a corner kick attempt, the in-swinger headed to the back post and just wide as Antonov dove over to cover the angle. And they're going to say it's out for a corner kick. I didn't see which defender it ricocheted off of as the header was supplied by Marrera. And Vaughn have earned themselves another corner. So it'll be Sean Schwarzstein to take the corner as he sets up for the outswinger. Vaughn piling six jerseys into the penalty area for reception, but Bulat there with the clearance. Bit of hesitation shown on the play by Kevin Poor, and that turns it over to Sigma as they look to counter here. As Esprit gets around the defender, Esprit into the penalty area, right footed shot, big save, the rebound, right to Bruno, and then hammered away by Schwarzstein on the defensive volley. Big kick save by Michael Macri Georgios to keep the first shot out, and then extra defensive support cleared the danger on the rebound. Corner kick, now they play it short. Overlap option. Bruno carries it here for Sigma. Tries the attempt, and that one off the mark. Hits our freelance cameraman, Quazy, down pitch side, and it goes out for a goal kick. So Maki Georgios gets set to take the goal kick, delivers a good ball forward where... It's headed on by the defensive effort from Ripton. Sigma try to move it back into the attacking side of half, but it's quickly cleared away. And now Tavares Roach, check that. That was Etienne for Vaughn making the play. As Etienne knocks it away, Sigma Juan appeals for time wasting, but no caution and nothing more out of that sequence as... Vaughn knock it forward off the foot of Montemarano. Etienne closes down and comes away with the ball. Dranea, he's got the goal for Vaughn. Tries to take the defender on, but a heavy touch and he lost possession. Volley attempt from outside the area and an easy save that time for Antonov as Keon Kavinpur let the shot attempt fly. Sigma working the far touch line across half, but that's snuffed out by Tagbuer. Excuse me, Tagbaru. And it'll be a throw in now for Sigma. From the throw, Braga has to go backwards. As nearly intercepted, and now it is controlled by Vaughn, as coming away with it is Morea. His pass attempt picked off, anticipated well by the defender, White. Ball ricochets around. Morea tries to knock forward. Before Ripton touches back for his keeper, Antonov. Antonov touches it over to Ballot. He evades the first challenge and now plays it over to Klo. Close ball off of Tagbru and out for a Sigma throw in. From the throw, Vaughn able to head it clear to the half where a bit of an aerial knock sees play continue on. And now Montemarano touches forward for Marrera. He finds the overlap in Drenea. Closed down. Big defensive effort that time by Bode Ripton to stay with the attacker. After it looked like Ripton was beat, he scrambled back and got in position to make the stoppage. Sigma earning a throw in here on the brink of the attacking third as we approach the 70th minute, a little over 10 minutes remaining in match play. Sigma desperately looking for an equalizer. That pass, however, picked off, and Etienne with the clearance only as far as White. White touches over for Ogini. He squares up the defender, continues to provide trickery, now lays the cross, and... That's out for a corner and a chance for us to remind you that today's OPDL Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade, the official sports fuel of OPDL. Rehydrate 
replenish, and refuel after the match. We've got a Vaughn player down right now. I believe it was the defender in Prosek who had the block on the corner. But he seems to be okay. And now Sigma gets set to take the corner. Short option in Bruno. Close. Sets up for the in-swinger. Delivers the left-footed cross to the far post. Headed to the top of the 18 and flicked further by Marrera. Where it's now controlled. The Sigma try to knock it back in. But they give possession away. And it'll be a Vaughn throw-in. And now Sigma will make a substitution here. Actually, both teams are going to make changes as Marrera comes out of the match for Vaughn. Atiota out for Sigma as they bring Dimitrov back into this game. Can't quite make out the number on the back of the Vaughn player who's been subbed in, but we'll give you that update in a moment as Vaughn have won themselves a free kick here just on their own side of half. They take it quickly. It was Milan Kapoor brought back into the match for Vaughn as Curry plays that out wide. Tegbaru tries to shield it along the line, but possession turned over. Sigma knock it back into the Vaughn side of half where they'll keep it in play. Back to the keeper, Macri Georgios. He lays that one over to Kapoor. Kapoor, left-footed ball up across, half flicked on by Dranea, but only as far as the Sigma keeper, Antonov, who tracks it back into his penalty area, scoops it up and quickly bowls it out for White. White drops it over. Adam Begg turns it. Lucas Boulet looks for an option making the run in Clow, but that one out of touch as Ruchero shielded it out for the throw-in. Schwarzstein, he heads it forward, running onto it and taking possession as it's played ahead for Tegbaru. Tegbaru tries to pick out Renea. What a ball! What a touch! Is that going to track in? Oh, what an effort! It's a brace, and it's 2 nothing fun! Incredible individual effort from Kali and Dranea. It looked like that play was broken down. Dranea no quit in his game. And he is rewarded with a brace, his second goal of the match in the 73rd minute. And Vaughn FC have a 2-0 lead here in the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Just a phenomenal individual effort from Dranea after that through ball was played perfectly from Tegbaru. Dranea beat the defender, chipped the keeper, didn't have enough on the initial chip for it to go in. Adrian White was there trying to clear it off the line, but Dranea poked his foot through and buried it in the back of the net to secure the second goal and Maybe the victory here today for Vaughn. Well, soon another deserving team will engrave their name into OPDL history and hoist the beautiful Gary Miller Charity Shield Trophy, tastefully updated by Nothers, the award store. For more than 50 years, Nothers, the award store, has been a leading supplier of awards and recognition products across Ontario, offering complete assistance from program concept planning all the way to product delivery. Is that shot from Tegbrew high and wide out for a goal kick? See how Nothers can help your organization at Nothers.com. Well, brought into the second half as a substitute, Kalian Dranea has made his impact on this match. Two goals in the second half for Vaughn. The first was nice. The second was spectacular. And Vaughn SC have a 2-0 lead with just under five minutes of match time remaining here in the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. 
substitution here for Vaughn. Sam Tegbaru, who set up that second goal. Well, it looked like they were going to take Tegbaru out, but some miscommunication there at the scores table, and play continues without the substitution being completed. But Tegbaru's had himself a great game here today for Vaughn. But now they've got to defend as Klo lays that one off. There's a shot attempt. What a save! Mackie Georgios with his best save of the match. As he punches that one over top the bar. Looked like Dimitrov was going to chip him. But Mackie Georgios with a tremendous save. Echoing a similar stop by Campoli in the first half. And both keepers for Vaughn have been sharp here today. Double substitution for Vaughn. As Sigma gets set to take this corner from the far side. Short option presenting. But there's the in-swinger delivered. Headed away. Only as far as Etienne. He tries to volley it forward. Excuse me. That's a spree. A spree tight to the goal line. Second attempt. Big save again. As Macri Georgios does the splits. Doing the kick save goalie style from hockey. And... He had the near post pin to make that save. And there's a good drop kick by Macri Georgios to clear it up the field. Dranea thought about going in for the hat trick, but White there with the defensive header. 77th minute of action. Vaughn 2, Sigma nil. As we make our way towards the final whistle and the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. As that ball played back by Antonov by his defender, he had to be sharp with that clearance. Well, a reminder that up next, we've still got two more games on the docket today. Up next, it's the girls under 14 final. As there's a cross right in on Antonov, ricocheted off a defender and easily secured by the keeper. As his drop kick, met by the defensive volley of Prosik. And Vaughn tried to chip it ahead for Dranea, but he was caught moving in the wrong direction. So Antonov keeps it at his feet, and he clears it out to the half where Schwarzstein heads it forward. So as I mentioned, up next we've got the girls under 14 final. That goes at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And then at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, the girls under 17 final. As uh, Sigma... They've really got to push everything forward now, down by two, and just minutes remaining in this match. Oh, here's a breakthrough, Bruno in all alone, and he buries it! Sigma, get one back in the 78th minute! Zane Bruno finds the back of the net, and this one, not done yet, it's two to one! <laughs> Well, a bit of a mental mislapse there from the Vaughn back line as they essentially let Bruno walk in uncontested. And he made the most of it in Sigma. Have no life. And here goes his win. Oh, what a save. Three Jojo dives out head first. He's down. The match official has not seen the keeper injured. Wow, what a controversy that would have been had that play continued on and it gone in. But here's a blind player breaking in. Chip on returning. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? And it's an action. Vaughn, bury it. An incredible end-to-end -end action. The Vaughn keeper, Macri Giorgio, still down. A goal mouth scramble. The ball ricochets in. Sandy, who'd you give the ball to? 25? Yeah. Dranea gets the goal, and that's a hat trick now for Dranea. But the Vaughn keeper still down. Yeah. 
So a good sign there for Vaughn as their keeper, Macri Giorgios, able to get back to his own feet. Wow, Sigma nearly with a chance to equalize. A tremendous save by Macri Giorgios, point plank against Daniel Esprit. And then literally seconds later, the ball back up the pitch. An incredible run supplied by the Vaughn substitute. And I believe it was Wilson who snuck up the pitch. We get a foul called here. It was Wilson, Christian Wilson, who ended up supplying the ball over to Dranea. And Dranea just crashing through the defender to knock it in. And now Sigma really have to push everything forward. It's the 80th minute, a free kick here for Klo as he takes the left-footed ball into the penalty area. Cleared away. Tegbaru tries to catch it for Vaughn. He does. He's got room in front of him. Check that. That's a 10. Now he plays it over to Wilson. Wilson taking on the defender. Takes the shot from distance. And just missed the top corner with that attempt. We're into added time here. In the boys under 15 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Just incredible end-to-end -end action here in the last 10 minutes or so. And what a contest here in this final. Again, if this sets the pace for what's to come this weekend, you won't want to miss a single second of the action. Five more games on the schedule after this one between today and tomorrow. Up next, it's the girls under 14 final. At 12.30 p.m. East, Eastern, excuse me. Clearance from Sigma. They get it only as far as Etienne. Ogini tries to close him now. Monterano. Working off the man is Tavares Roach. Lays it back for Schwarzstein. He turns it over. A Sigma try hold possession. Wilson did well to keep it in, but in the end, Dimitrov comes up with it. And it's off a of Vaughn player out for a Sigma throw in. Dimitrov wanted to take it quickly, didn't have any outlets. And now it'll be controlled by Sigma's midfield as they try to find a man through the lane. Dimitrov supplied the pass, but it was off the mark. And now it's back with the back line in Ripton. And that does it. The final whistle sounds. And Vaughn SC are your 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield champions in the boys' U15 division. Congratulations to both teams. Sigma put up one heck of a battle, but in the end, Vaughn, hold on for the win. As today's OPDL, Gary Miller Charity Shield, was fueled by Gatorade, the official sports fuel of the OPDL. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel after the match. Thank you again to our proud partners for today's event. Our premier partners, Toronto FC and the Canadian Premier League. Our program partners, Gatorade, as well as Respect in Sport, SportCheck, SoccerX, Nothers the Award Store, and of course, our partners at Canada Soccer. Fans, thank you for tuning in. Congratulations to Vaughn SC, champions of the Gary Miller Charity Shield in 2022. And a reminder that our next match gets going at 12.30 p.m. Eastern in the girls under 14 division. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in just a little while. It begins with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more.